Okay, so we've talked a lot about MCAT scores and the goal of what we're aiming for. But how did I come up with those numbers and why is it even important to get a high MCAT score? And so I think this note is going to help answer some of those questions. So how important are MCAT scores for admission into medical school? Why do we even need to really um, study so hard for the MCAT? So I wanted to go over this table with you guys, which is from the AAMC. And this table is the most recent one from 2021. And on the left, it's showing you different students' GPA. On the right, it's showing you their MCAT total scores. And this table is showing you how many of the students that fall into each of these categories got accepted into at least one medical school. So if we take an example of a student with a GPA of 3.4, if they got an average MCAT score of 500, let's say, they would have a 19% chance of getting into medical school. Okay, now instead, if they got a higher MCAT score of let's say 510, now their chance of getting accepted into medical school has dramatically increased to 51%. If we take another example of someone with a GPA of 3.8 that gets an average total MCAT score of 500, their chance of getting into medical school would be 31%. And now if we take that same student with the GPA of 3.8 and we help them get a 510 instead, they now have a 75% chance of getting into medical school. So this table really shows that it is important to aim for the highest possible MCAT score that you can. And again, you can refer back to the last note that shows you the goals that you should be trying to aim for to increase the chances of you getting into medical school. And you can also take a look at this table. So it is important to note that most Canadian and American medical schools require MCAT scores for acceptance into medical schools. Now, each of the requirements may be a little bit different, so we do recommend to check the exact requirements for your top three to five medical school choices, just so you have an idea of what you want to aim for for those particular schools, because it may be a little bit different for each school. One other thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that sometimes schools will say that their minimum score requirement, let's just say as an example, is 125 in each of the sections. So another thing that you guys can check is that each medical school will actually post the MCAT scores of the accepted class of, and you can search for any class. And so it's actually gonna say that, okay, out of the class of let's say 200 students, this many students had an MCAT score of, let's say 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, this many students had a 125. And from what I've seen, for the schools that say their minimum requirement is a 125, let's say, it might actually turn out that only a few students actually got accepted into medical school when they had a 125. And by looking at the data that the medical school publishes on their accepted class, you can really see that the higher your scores, the higher your chance of getting accepted into medical school, and that most of the class will be made up of students who scored very, very high on their MCAT. So that's what we really need to aim for, and our WISE course will help you feel fully prepared for the MCAT with everything you need to know for it. So please let me know if you have any other questions about scoring, and I'd be happy to help out.